This must be the place Professor Ubi is house. Looks pretty creepy. I'd been away from Paris and hadn't seen Nico for nearly six months. I wanted to celebrate our reunion, but she had other plans. An appointment with an archaeologist. Something to do with a Mayan stone she came across while researching a story. The guy who answered the door didn't look much like an archaeologist to me. I had a bad feeling about this. After an encounter with a pair of Central American Indians, I'd been knocked out and my girlfriend had done it. They failed in their attempts to kill me, and after carefully piecing together the clues, I eventually ended up on a desolate dockside in Marseille, where I hoped I could find Nico. What's the big idea? I don't know. The dog went berserk for no apparent reason. He's trained to do that. The idea is to deter any would-be intruder. Oh, I get it. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. Just remember, he's a trained attack dog. A killer. As my dad used to say, I'm not into time, man. Well, you're too early. What time is it, anyhow? The big hand's on the floor. Why aren't you in bed? I can explain everything. Never mind, I ain't that interested. Ever heard of Condor Transglobal? Sure. They have a warehouse here. 
Well, could I take a look? Not until after the holidays. Come back in a month. Does that dog belong to you? Nah, it comes with the job. I just feed him every now and then. More then than now, I'd say. What's cooking? Beans. You know a man can live on nothing but beans. Not this one. I gotta go now, but I'll be back. Can't wait. The stick had a hook on one end. I figured it was a boat hook for hooking boats. The bottle was just out of reach. Nothing was going to get me into that water if I could help it. couldn't reach that far. That was no good. You dropped your beer bottle. Not me, pal. Yes, you did. I saw you drop it right in the sea. Don't you know better than to dump your trash in the ocean? I don't see no fish complaining. <laughs> see you later.
Ouch! That's hot. The bottle was half filled with water. Maybe it would cool the cone down enough to touch it. Now I could see into the pipe which formed the chimney. Someone had once told me a piece of coal brought you luck. Who was I to argue with irrational superstition? The packet was full of dog biscuits. Here, boy, have a nice crunchy biscuit. I felt a slight twinge of conscience as I prepared to give the dog a dunking. It soon passed. As I'd expected, the dog could swim like a, well, like a dog. Getting past the night watchman and his dog had been easy. Little did I know that I was soon to be pitted against truly terrifying adversaries. Ruthless drug barons from the present day and bloodthirsty Mayan gods from many centuries ago. <laughs> <laughs> 